Well, Delhi's power crisis continues following a thunderstorm on 30th of May. Residents in the eastern and western areas of the capital have been hit by long power cuts. There's been load shedding ranging from one to five hours in several parts of east, west and south Delhi as a number of major power transmission lines are yet to be fully restored after they were damaged by a storm 10 days ago. The storm had severely damaged major power transmission lines across the city. Well, angry protests broke out overnight in Delhi over power blackouts as summer temperatures soared. Residents took to the streets at around midnight on Tuesday in northeast Delhi, attacking vehicles as frustration mounts over power cuts across the capital. <laughs> अच्छे दिन दिखा के लाई उन्होंने बुरे दिन दे दिए बुरी रात दे दी रात भर नहीं सो पाते हमारे बच्चे बुजुर्ग महिलाएं त्राई माम त्राई माम कर रही है कल रात भर काम हुआ है और अल्टरनेट लाइन्स हमने ढूंढ रहे हैं जहां से हमने पावर सप्लाई कर सकें ईस्ट और सेंट्रल दिल्ली में जो प्रॉब्लम है उसको well, Arvind Kejriwal, former Delhi Chief Minister, has now sought an appointment with Prime Minister Modi to discuss the exigency. The Yama Party alleges that Narendra Modi's government took 10 days to determine the cause of acute power shortages in Delhi and hasn't done much to restore the problem. But yesterday, Union Prime Minister Piyush Goyal said that it would take at least two weeks to resolve the crisis in the capital. Damage to some transmission lines during a recent major thunderstorm has added to the problems. Well, a political row clearly has erupted over the cuts with the power minister blaming city's previous Congress government for outdated infrastructure and the Congress in turn protesting against these cuts. Well, Aditi, in fact, is now joining us with the very latest Aditi. The power minister yesterday had said that it would take at least two weeks time to fix this problem. But in the immediate course, uh, any any action that has been taken uh, in the sweltering heat to deal with these long outages? Because as far as the power ministry is concerned, the officials of the power ministry are saying that they are trying their level best. In fact, there's a lot of backlog which has been left by the previous government and by Sheila Dixit government. They are saying that they had sought for two weeks' time from the people of the national capital and they are trying their level best to get things sorted. They are saying that it is not only the thunderstorm which created havoc and which has disrupted most, almost all the transmission lines in, uh, in critical areas or in the national capital, but also uh, the inadequate work that that has been done by the previous government has caused a lot of pressure in the existing power ministry and now more also it has become a blame game between the political parties Ruchika uh, there are on one side Piyush Goyal is blaming the Congress party the Congress party on the other hand is saying that the BJP is trying to cover up their in, uh, their incompetency by blaming the UPA government clearly for the Delhi it will take some time before they can actually have some respite and they can get back their power supply in their homes it is going to it is being said that it will take about in the next 10 days at least before situation can be normalized in the national capital. So clearly, at least for the next 10 days, there is no respite for the people of the of uh, Delhi, Ruchika. Right, and Aam Aadmi Party is of course uh, on the front foot right now leading these protests. Arvind Kejriwal, as we're learning, has also sought an appointment with Prime Minister Modi. Absolutely, Ruchika, in fact, but there's no confirmation whether Narendra Modi has given him time or not because Narendra Modi has been very busy with the parliament session on. Uh, we are learning that Narendra Modi will try and give time to uh, Arvind Kejriwal as soon as his schedule becomes a little free. The Aam Army Party has now taken to the forefront. They are saying that they are the ones who are going to fight it out uh, with the existing government, with the, ND, uh, with the BJP-led NDA government. However, it all boils down to whether Narendra Modi will give a time to Aam Army Party Chief Arvind Kejriwal or not and what transpires in that meeting which eventually Arvind Kejriwal is speaking for. All right, thank you very much. We leave it there for the moment. Uh, clearly, people in Delhi will have to suffer the power outages for at least another two weeks as the government says it will take them that long to fix the problem. Thank you very much, Aditi, for that update from the capital.